It's all the buzz in one neighborhood. As Nicole Grigg shows us, the invasion of ground hornets has people going to extreme and unorthodox measures. Kids would usually be out playing on a summer day like today in this West Carrollton neighborhood. But a new nuisance swarming around, or we can call them the cicada killers, have kept these kids indoors. Mike Morgan has a giant problem on his hands. I've killed 225 as of three days ago. He spent more than eight hours the past three days killing ground hornets, also called cicada killers, with a tennis racket. Sounds gross, but it's fun. It gives it improves my backswing, and I don't even play tennis. And it's getting rid of his problem one swat at a time. Nasty, giant, huge, ginormous bees. Barbara Turner says she won't even let her kids go outside because of the hundreds of hornets flying around. The girls, you know, they can't come outside and play at all. I mean, they have to stay away from our yard to play, and I want them in our yard to play. Experts say cicada killers prefer to burrow in sand and dry soil, like dead grass, and even near banking areas, like where the squirrel is. The insects will make a hole where they will take cicadas in to eat. Exterminators say while they do have chemical treatments, it's hard for them to treat every hole the hornets make because if they mess even one, the bugs will stick around. Experts say cicada killers should disappear in about three to four weeks. Reporting in West Carrollton, Nicole Grigg, Fox 45 News.